STI we've spoke about because he wanted to control his daughter's <laughs> vagina. But he's trying to. Cl- he said that he takes his daughter every year to the gynecologist to make sure her hymen's still intact. He's and he said, mm-hmm. "I'm happy and proud to announce that she just turned 18, and up until this moment, a mo- man's penis has not been inside my daughter." So okay, so we went on Facebook on um, Will Smith's wife. It's called the Red Table Talk. The Red yeah. Table Talk. They have like a podcast show. Mm-hmm. On Facebook, which is highly produced, by the way, I yeah, I Facebook was really is, impressed with the quality. Facebook is really putting in the the. They're trying to make real content. The problem is that it's on Facebook. Wait, is there is this a rift in the Smith House? She's got a Facebook show. I'd, yeah, no, Will's, yeah. Will's got a YouTube show. No, yeah, no, that, this is on Facebook. Is there in the Smith House? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Fuck? yeah. It's a pretty popular thing, the Red Table Talk, but um. So, it's on Facebook, so that's the problem. It does look like TV quality content. I agree. It's really well produced. I mean, they are have a lot of fucking money, and there's no rules. Mm-hmm. Copyright law doesn't exist. Shit, hell, even international law, even the Geneva Code don't even exist on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah! <laughs> So here, uh, here he they dress with Ti. Will Smith makes a little appearance if you want to show that in the beginning. He does. Ti was like, "Are you gonna sit with us?" And Will is like, "No, <laughs> no, <Nah. laughs> I'm staying out of this one." Oh, that's funny. I feel like the Smith family loves attention. Like Will is everywhere, yes. bro. Yeah, just chill. I don't know. Well, just uh, you know, I don't know. So, Book Hill a lion or something. are they Scientology? Oh, don't do that. Family, there's been rumors that they are Scientology. He donated money to a Scientology school, <sighs> but so far have denied being members of the church. But I think Will Smith is a perfect candidate for Scientology. Is it confirmed that he donated to that? I think it's confirmed, yes. Doesn't that mean that he is a Scientologist? I think what he said about that is that they were curious about it and looking into it and decided mm. it wasn't for them. Okay. I'm not sure I believe that. I guess I could give Do you them... think I'm famous enough to get VIP treatment with Scientology? Like the Celebrity uh, Center? I think Probably. they care about Hollywood. I don't know. Do you think they would recognize... You don't think they have a new media division? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think... I've never heard of a new media I hope they don't. Mm. But I hope that's... That dude, if they could get me... Do you... I hope that all the young Scientology kids that were born into it are managing to run away. Don't you think that they have a good opportunity to convert me? Like, I could really get a lot of people into it. Uh-huh. God, they must do Well, something. how do your uh, your Thetans feel? I mean... My Thetans aren't down. They don't want it. What's that? Oh, they don't want it? <laughs> I don't know. It's the ghosts that haunt you or something. Yeah, it's the uh, ghosts that haunt you. My Thetans don't believe in Scientology, but I do. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> hmm. cool. like you're unaligned. Let's get some howdies going. <laughs> um, so anyway, let's yeah, let's watch Will Smith say he doesn't want to be involved. Yeah, I was hoping to be greeted and honored properly. Yeah, you know what I mean, I was so hoping like, to I'm just here to say hi. Opinions on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just somebody help me I carry this load. Like, hey, I was like, Tip coming to the red table. I was like, I'm gonna say hi, but y'all can <laughs> Right on, like, brother. Good, good to see good you, luck, man. Brother. <laughs> Tell him I said keep the car running. <laughs> running man. And Facebook Watch Original. Hey, did you know that Mark Zuckerberg sells ads to the Russians? They don't care about democracy. Brought to you by Facebook. Now, if I may say in my defense, if I may say in my defense now, and uh, go ahead. Like, I came here for the tough stuff. No easy ride for me, baby. Well, Let me you skip forward because it's quite long. It's really what? long. May I ask you because one question? Any yes. of my reputation. Why does he talk like Yosemite Sam? And you'll see what I mean. I don't know. I say, I say, I say, I do declare. <laughs> you'll see what I mean. I like who I am as a father. <laughs> I who don't I'm know what you mean. I just thought people knew me better than that. Well, there's some of us that know you. He but talks like Yosemite Sam. You don't. Yeah. Do you understand the sensitivity? Of no, it all. really, I did not. Do you understand it now? Oh, I understand it now. Yes, I do. Absolutely. However, my intentions, I think, have been terribly misconstrued and right. misconceived. Right. Let me go. He's like right. Don King meets Yosemite Sam. 
I don't know all these references. The guys had a sure big laugh. Are you mean Yosemite Sam? Yeah, Yosemite I mean, Sam. You don't mean no Foghorn Yosemite Leghorn? Sam. No, Yosemite Sam. From Yosemite Sam. Tunes, Yosemite no? Sam. Yosemite Sam. He was the guy who was like, I do, I do. What is your, isn't it? That's Foghorn Leghorn, bro. Nah, this is Yosemite Sam. No. Well, I mean, that is Yosemite Sam, oh, but oh, the oh, accent that you're oh. describing. Oh, he's got a gruff. Wait, what's the one who I was thinking of? You're talking about Foghorn Leghorn, the big uh, the big chicken dude. <laughs> I say, I say. Oh, yeah. is it? Oh, that's what you're talking about, yes. I, just, yep. I guess I thought Yosemite Sam sounded uh, No, funny. he's not talking like that. Yes, he is. He's talking about. These kids coming up nowadays don't even know how to tie down their pumpkins. Why, when I was a boy, I... Hey, I never tied down no pumpkins. Hey, son, what you tying down? I think he sounds like popcorn, bighorn, Yosemite <laughs> Sam. <laughs> but listen how he talks. <laughs> I don't see it. I like it. Record straight. Never said I was in any exam room. That is an assumption. Right. That is a falsity. Got it. Uh, I, I didn't think he was in the. Uh, that is a falsity. Who talks like that? <laughs> Did you say falsity? He goes. That is a falsity. Look who's talking. You're making up a word like every second. <laughs> Bro, it's just the way he's talking. <laughs> he's trying. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying? He talks like he's doing a shtick. No, I don't I agree with that. Yeah. Oh, come on. I mean, it, he's, got, he's just got a little bit of a southern accent, right? It's That's not a southern. Like okay, whatever. We don't need to debate this. <laughs> Because they're squares, <laughs> lame -os. Tensions, I think, have been terribly misconstrued. My tensions have been terribly misconstrued and misconstrued. Rude and misconceived. Right. Misconceived. Let me go set this record straight. Never said I was in any exam room. That is. I didn't ever think he was in the exam room. That would be horrific. I think a lot of people took it because everyone was talking about it. So maybe you didn't say it, but. Maybe I don't well, people said if it. he's in the exam room or not, it's still gross. Yeah. If he's in the exam room, that's like, I don't think the doctor would <laughs> no, allow I that. Think so. It's an assumption. Right. That is a falsity. Got it. Uh, I never said that uh, it was being done present day. Right. As a he eight. did say that. Anyway, I can tell you because I watched the whole thing. Basically, what he's saying is that. It was kind of obviously like kind of trying to make an entertaining story out of something that is based in reality, but he was exaggerating. And I can understand that because, you know, I know what it's like when we tell stories here. You try to make it a little more funny or whatever. But they do, they try to explain to him why the whole topic is so sensitive and it really shouldn't, like, why it was wrong. Well, he was still every year getting the hymen examined. I don't think they were doing it every year like he was saying in the story, but... And I, he also said in the story he told them, he said, as of 18 years old, her hymen is still intact. Yeah, I that. think he was just, like, trying to be funny. You think so? Yeah. You don't think he's just backpedaling? No, I don't. What about the tweets his daughter He wasn't had? back... He was... He was sitting there and taking whatever they had to say to what him. What about the like, tweets his, he, uh, his daughter liked about saying how this is he horrible? He said that she oh. doesn't like that he's talking about it and that he apologized to her. And Should I watch? It's long. I, 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 there's, there's, I think there's like a one-minute stretch here where he talks about 18-year-old. Yeah, because yeah. she was 15 yeah. and 16 years old at the time. And I never said that her mother wasn't present. Right. Her yeah, her was mom was present they every went time. Together. Right. You know, he was just, you know, most fathers don't go, but he was just present. Right. Yeah. And he didn't make the doctor's appointment. No, it was already, no. you know, appointment. And all of these things, all of the, this narrative, this false narrative has just been sensationalized. So at the time, her mother welcomed your presence, and sure. your daughter did too? Absolutely. Yeah. And that was never any objection. Right. She did have a problem with me talking about it, however. Right. And I understand yes. that. Yes. And I am incredibly apologetic. But ultimately, he was still checking his daughter's hymen. So ultimately, is the, he is in the wrong and with the way he views this whole topic. And I mm -hmm. think he didn't understand before, and he's starting to understand now. Like, she told him... Do you know, for example, that it could break from riding a horse? And he was like, no, I didn't know that. And well, he goes in his story, she ain't not ride no horse. She ain't do no athletics. <laughs> not sports. He goes, athletics. I don't know. Because it's shtick. 
What he doesn't you, like I this. I don't understand what you're saying. He just talks like in Yosemite Sam. I don't see it. Uh, do you guys see what he's saying? No. I don't see what he's <laughs> saying about And also, that. he keeps saying Yosemite Sam again. I it's know, but it sounds Yosemite funnier. Sam. Zach knows what I'm saying. <laughs> I do. I do agree with you. Ian, do you know what I'm saying? And do you guys afraid that I'm making like racial jokes? Because I don't think I am. No, I, 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 I don't. Ian, see I just it. don't think it's I accurate. I don't think he talks like that character. <laughs> But he has a he has a unique cadence. Can we agree it on does. the way it's he just talks? A su- it, it's not unique. It's just a southern accent. He's know. from Atlanta. I can see why you're making this comparison, but I think it's funny when everyone denies what you're saying. Yeah, okay. So Ian is just hanging me out to dry, but he agrees. Zach agrees. Ian and Dan are too woke, apparently, to what? acknowledge the obvious. <laughs> that he sounds like Yosemite Sam? Yeah, Dan and Hila are, are <laughs> pseudo-woke. <laughs> And I'm calling him out right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Listen, I'm just very protective boy, of the Warner Brothers characters, okay? Yeah. To you, Big fan. <laughs> sweet baby danger. Not to any of these you other like strangers or any of these weirdos who, Looks you like know, just kind of toss lies around for right. fun. Yeah. She understands my intentions and she knows yes. who I am. She knows who I've always been. Right. And I think that that allows a certain level of understanding. I mean, it's just the outside, the yeah. the, the noise yep. is yep. is distracting, is com- is confusing, uh, and it's hurtful. It is. Yeah. It's hurtful and embarrassing. She was horrified. I well, I definitely understood why she would be, you know, feel like you know it was personal to her. Right. Deja's a, a quiet child. She doesn't talk a lot. She doesn't, you know. Okay. This goes on forever. So. Yeah. I, I do say, think I do, like I do I do I do declare. <laughs> he definitely represents like a wrong way of looking at these things because he he puts so much, um, like, it it's so important to him that when when she loses her virginity and like that needs he to said, be with the right person or whatever. Here's a quote from that I pulled from nine fifty here, so we don't have to watch the whole thing, Eva. From nine fifty, let's see. The idea that people thought you were trying to control your daughter's virginity versus... No, because t- that's very different. I it have is. a question. Okay, ask it. Okay, first of all, the word control is very... But you know that's what it sounds like. I t- know, but in order to guide or direct, you must have a certain level of control of any... Do you agree with that? No. That doesn't make any sense. You can't guide and con- direct and control. Right. You guide and you Direct. hope that they yeah, exactly. Guiding have good is judgment not on their own. Yeah. So. Okay, so. Okay, so. so. So how do you want us to understand your level of control in which you were speaking of? Well, I think that in the age or the time where right. our women, black women, are the most unprotected, yes. unattended, and I get disregarded that. Yes. women on the planet, yes. I'm being criticized because I'm willing to go above and beyond to protect mine. Right. And I'm talking about all of the little slimy, grimy, chubby-fingered little boys who want to just come and defile Mm -hmm. and destroy the sanctity that I have. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, man, listen, I'm just saying. I just find that whole, it's a strange, bro, it's your 18-year-old daughter. What the sanctity, she's got to live her life, bro. Right. Not every dude is slimy, chubby-fingered. And sometimes you can and get just, a slide me chubby finger in your vagina. Just That's putting just part so of growing much up, right? emphasis <laughs> on putting so much emphasis on like losing your virginity right. and like, sexual she, uh, exploration. She's got to do what she's got to do. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like yeah. And if she ends up with someone who's not a good guy, then she'll figure it out for herself. And you guide her. You don't say you have to break up with him because he's got chubby, greasy fingers like Newt Gingrich. Remember that video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a callback. <laughs> the um What do you call us? What do you handheld uh, we, device? Yeah, we need a new name for these handheld devices. <laughs> anyway. anyway. Right? I don't understand anything that is the most important thing to me in my life. I am going to deal with that with very it's extreme. Not, she's not a car. Mm-hmm. It, it, it kind of reminded me of like me being a teenager having to deal with my dad cuz mm-hmm. 
obviously everything he did was because he wanted to protect me mm -hmm. and he cared so much about me. But it was so, like, I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. wouldn't let me go out with my friends. It wouldn't let me, you know, whatever everyone else was doing, I couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And it's just so frustrating. It's, you just, it's not a healthy way to have a relationship with your kid. Mm -hmm. I understand that there's, like, good intention behind it, but it, it's good. Good intentions good. Don't, don't mean anything, ultimately, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, uh, for example, you know, when I... You know, when I use the bidet to wash my asshole, my tensions are good, but ultimately when there's shit water on the floor and a whole mess because I don't know how to use the bidet, my intentions are good, but th there's shit all over the walls. And that's why I don't step into that room. <laughs> I like it. And I don't understand how that is looked at as being so wrong. In order to control, for there to be malice, there must be ill intent. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to... The so doctor, no. you just for the yeah, that's, that's where such, I think he's just that's wrong. That's such a stupid point. It, it, dude, you... Uh, just because you don't you can't have no intent doesn't mean that everything you do is right. Yeah. And it doesn't have a negative consequence. Yeah. I have I feel like I know exactly where he's coming from because because of my dad. Yeah, it's that old school yeah. Yosemite Sam shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> of controlling you, mm -hmm. then okay. But if I'm going for the purpose of being a protective parent, and there's no th there's There's no support. such thing as overprotective. There there's is. protected <laughs> and unprotected. That's what? insane. That's an insane statement to make. Like, I feel like he doesn't even, he, nobody believes that's true. No, I think he truly really believes There's no it. such thing as overprotective. Why don't you just lock her in a jail cell? Right. Hey, baby, there's no such thing as overprotective. He treats her like she's a car in his collection. Hey, baby. But Let's put you in this vault with gold coins. I, at least he's willing to have this conversation, and they did. He seemed to be, like, interested in um, learning. learning yeah. So. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's important to you, though, because I don't think it's so much about virginity as or much was it? or was it well anyway, that's it i say 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 <laughs> there's no such thing as being overprotective i say that doesn't sound like him i say i say i say i do <sighs> declare